Well, it doesn't go Mercer's way on Monday night in the quarterfinal round of the CBI as ULM able to come from behind and win at 71-69. Thank you all for watching us right here on MercerBears.com. Dan Matthews, of course, he is Coach Bob Hoffman. And uh, Coach, uh, not the way you draw it up, uh, especially uh, at the end of the game where ULM was uh, able to just grind away and then finally find a way. Yeah, I mean, we were doing everything right the first half we kind of fell in love with the threes and then the second half we didn't get as many paint touches we needed to to take those threes we were taking contested shots and that's not how, who we are and how we play the best and still if we make one more shot we win the game. Yeah, no doubt about it. And this is kind of a rubber meets the road matchup here where both teams very good at uh, defending, uh, I mean, just overall defense as field goal percentage low for both teams uh, as uh, they would usually try to go and try to score. Let's uh, get a look at some of the highlights as Ike Wamu was able to get going early. Yeah, he had some shots. Uh, they found a way to get some easy ones in transition and Phil got it to the rim and and one that was huge uh, just like the last one he got and one was big and uh, we hit a lot of threes see that came inside outside another great pass tremendous finish Jordan made a great play there and TJ made a shot fake and got it down that was the that's the those are the shots we should be taking and that was one of the few threes we hit the second half Ike Wamu another strong performance tonight 20 points for him yeah uh, he, he found found some shots early on and got, got a rhythm and uh, was feeling it. And then the second half, we, we kind of got into a rhythm game where we weren't taking the ball. They were trying to attack us on every possession. And that, that's important. Like, that was a great shot because he drove it. We got it out. Those are the kind of threes that you can make a, a living off of. Uh, and we have this year, but we took we took way too many threes. Coach, I'm sure you don't need me to say too much when I ask you about T.J. Hallis, do I? Yeah, T.J., uh, great job of leading the season, stepped into a tough role, found ways to help us all over the floor, a great communicator. Uh, I love how he gave himself to the program and uh, he continued to do the right thing over and over again. Never missed a single game coming into the night, 144 consecutive games. As you say goodbye to him and also Darius Moten, but then have a lot of players coming back next season. Speaking about this one tonight, anything other than obviously the most important stat at the top? Well, I just didn't find a way for us to get the shots at the end. and. Uh, we had a couple critical turnovers when we were ahead with about a minute 20 left, and you just can't do that against good teams. And yeah, definitely so. Well, tough way to end the season. 71-69 is the way it goes down. Mercer ends the year at 19 and 16 overall. Coach, really appreciate everything Thanks. this year. And thank you. Look forward to working with you and your staff again next year. As we thank you all back home for watching us right here on MercerBears.com, and we will see you very soon.